Hello friends. Uh, so today is 1st January 2022 and today I am in Kansas City. Um, and it is very very cold. It's minus 11 degrees centigrade. I want to begin today's video by saying a very very happy new year's to each and every one of you. I hope all your wishes and dreams uh, come true and I hope you all get what you ha had not even dreamed of yet above and beyond what you have dreamed of so with that being said 2021 was a very interesting year uh, we uh, were in lockdown pretty much I'm still working remote working from home I'm in lockdown staying locked down trying to stay healthy trying to uh, keep my travels to as limited as possible we all of us got the booster doses booster shots and we are hopefully uh, more equipped and more immune to the covid 19 uh, virus <clears throat> apart from that uh, you know we are looking towards the year 2022 with a lot of high hopes and high dreams and we hope that whatever we seek out for or whatever goals that we plan for in 2022 come true and we're able to achieve them so for today this video I am going to be discussing a few goals that I have not goals, I mean a few wishes, few wishes, let's say a few wishes that I have for 2022 um, and to keep the video less boring and a little bit more interesting since it has snowed today I'm going to be discussing um, these sort of wishes slash resolutions slash um, uh, pursuits while driving uh, while driving around in snow so that you can take the view of the beautiful uh, Kansas City yep. Let's go. Let's go in the car. I'm freezing out here. So I'm just dying to get inside <laughs> So let's go I'll <laughs> Let's go in my car and then you know, we'll drive around Kansas City while we discuss about our goals and our pursuits our wishes in 2022 See you in a bit Hey friends, I want to take this moment now and I want to wish you all once again a very, very, very happy new year and a prosperous new year. I hope that all your wishes and dream, they come true in the year of 2022 and you get more than what you have dreamed of. Um, so a happy new year and all the best for the all the best for the year 2022 now as we embark upon this crazy ride of 2022 uh, yesterday i was spending some time thinking to myself uh, what do i really want to do in 2022 what do i expect and uh, what do i want um, so <coughs> when i um, thought to it when i thought about it um, <clears throat> there are two main wishes that uh, I had and um, <clears throat> my first main wish is the health I my, my wish number one is that I want to you know improve my health and for that um, you know as a resolution I want to start controlling the, num the amount of the amount of food that I take especially the portion sizes and then <clears throat> once I am able to achieve um, you know, my portion sizes I want to gradually include uh, more and more um, exercise so that I can um, you know better my health and uh, you know build better and more healthy habits that was my first uh, uh, you know number one thing that I that I thought I, I want to you know achieve and hopefully in doing so I'm even you know if I lose a few more um, like uh, pounds of weight 
um, like at least 20 pounds, <laughs> that will be incredible. So uh, wish number one is becoming more healthy, being able to include some level of exercise in the routine and losing 20 pounds. That's the wish number one, that which is focused around health. Now the wish number two is an int is uh, is an interesting one. So for the for quite some time, for the last two years, we sort of have been on the edge of we have been on the fence of buying a house, a second house, and we thought maybe uh, you know next year is going to be the year that we'll buy the house, and then we kept postponing. It and we've been we've been postponing buying the house to to, to the next year, to the year after the next one, and the year after the next one. Um, and I think uh, you know 2022 uh, we want to use 2022 to be the year that we actually buy the house buy the second house <coughs> now it gets interesting because currently the housing market is really really crazy and there are not there, there are not that many houses available to buy right now anyways um, which is why uh, we <coughs> are not really um, worried about buying a house immediately um, but you know we want to be able we want to be in a position to buy a house by the end of 2022 so to buy the second house or to buy to buy another house um, the minimum requirement I mean we want to have at least a hundred thousand dollars in liquid capital and um, having hundred thousand dollars in liquid capital will sort of make us feel comfortable and will give us some level of confidence that you know we maybe we can pursue buying a home <coughs> and um, so when I was thinking about this hundred thousand dollars I said oh well well you know let let's make this hundred thousand uh, dollar requirement into a challenge and which is why uh, I want to embark upon this year 2022 with uh, this hundred thousand dollar challenge and I pr I'm probably going to start a series of hundred thousand dollar challenge and um, the hundred thousand dollar challenge um, <coughs> will have some rules uh, rule number one is that me and my wife we cannot use salaries from our jobs to contribute to this hundred thousand dollar that we are trying to accumulate to buy the house uh, we need to, uh, you know, even though we are bringing in salaries uh, and uh, income, we cannot use that income um, <coughs> to contribute to the hundred thousand dollars. Instead, we need to be able to generate the hundred thousand uh, dollars. We need to be able to generate the hundred thousand uh, dollars. Uh, regardless of the salary that we bring in or using some other m methodologies or some side hustles or any, any doing anything but but using the salary that we bring in so I was thinking about this more and I said what could I really do um, to bring in the you know to bring in the extra hundred thousand dollars and I started making a list so you know here's mm -hmm. what I you know, here here are the things I came up with. Yeah, out of these seven things, m who knows which one is going to be successful? It could be that uh, all of them end up being successful, or it could be that only one is successful. You know, or or none of them are successful. Who knows? Who knows uh, where we'll end up at? Uh, regardless of whether we succeed or not, uh, the the one thing that is guaranteed in this journey is that we will learn a lot and maybe uh, those learnings uh, you know will generate will will uh, generate exponential returns in the future who knows but anyways i'm going to go into the seven things uh, seven gigs or seven hustles that is going to uh, that i that i thought might work um, in in my case number one is uh, taking um, business analysis, quality analysis, um, project management, product management uh, classes, um, <coughs> and um, providing uh, consulting services. 
um, you know, training people and then providing consulting services. I think I've done both of them, and um, I, I have some I uh, p- product management, project management, uh, quality analysis, and business analysis. These are, m- are these are my um, realms of expertise, and I have a lot of hands-on experience and expertise in all of these four uh four trades so uh, that you know, that's one thing i could pursue is um you know provide train uh, people uh, you know hire them and then provide consulting services to other clients um and um you know send my trained people there and you know it's not it's not uh, you know in reinventing the wheel or anything it's just uh, an existing ordinary business um which uh, i never pursued until now um because you know uh, p- just lazy <laughs> but uh, that is that is no that is one option that uh, that is there uh, that is that i could pursue um second option is uh, providing i983 immigration consulting services um so i'm not an immigration lawyer by any means i'm not an um uh <coughs> i'm not uh, an immigration lawyer i am not uh, an immigration expert um, you know and for my own personal immigration needs i have a team of lawyers that work for me and you know that take that cater to all my immigration needs um, but uh, this con- these con- the but but i do have some <coughs> experience and knowledge and expertise in the realm of i983 uh technology coaching and mentoring programs so i could offer those as a consulting service and provide uh, you know knowledge to um other folks who need uh, help in the i983 realm um so that i i could do that as well so i might need to you know um yeah so that that yeah i could do that as well that's the that's another option um the third option the third option that uh, i i have you know pursued on and off i have not consistently d- done it um it was a learning curve and i was still learning and uh, that was to uh, start a fashion and hobby brand or you know hobby gift shop um i did m- i have pursued it on and off you know and uh, you know it worked and it didn't work i mean mostly it didn't work otherwise i would be doing that but um that's another thing that i want to pursue and maybe if i am able to find some good partners who uh, are going to willing to do the leg work uh, with my uh, you know with my involvement as uh, for, you know as the op- you know to, s- to to design the whole setup um, i could pursue that as well and that one you know we don't know if it will succeed or cuz cuz the first two options were purely uh you know were 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 my services uh where i'm giving a service and i'm and, and i'm charging by the hour or by the minute or you know by the service but the third option this fashion and hobby brand and gift shop it's basically selling products phili- physical products and uh in, in coming up with a brand with a logo with the designs hiring designers uh, so you know th- this is a kind of hit or miss for me because you know i'm i i'm i don't i'm not a designer you know uh, but but i i know m- what looks like a good design and i could probably try to sell it but i'm not a designer myself so it will require me to hire designers hire artists and then you know ma- hire manufacturers and make products and you know so that uh, hire marketing folks and uh, do some copywriting and then sell those products so that so this one is a hit or miss i don't know how much success i'll get it could be very successful or could or could be a big disastrous failure so and i might end up losing money in that cuz you know i need to put up money up front to purchase uh, a lot of these services so that's option number 3 option number 4 is an option which has been lingering in my mind for the last year or so and that is uh, opening an amazon seller central account and then uh, finding products from china and finding manufacturers in china um and vietnam and south korea and uh, sorry so- south korea uh, or maybe you know in asia and then 
um, identifying pain points of good products and then um, private getting them manufactured redesigned and then manufactured and then private labeling them and maybe even patenting some of these products that we designed so that has been lingering in my brain for like uh, almost a year year and a half and i've been uh, thinking about it but have never really pursued it so um, the benefit of doing it through amazon is that when if you do it through amazon then amazon has a feature where we could use their expertise in order fulfillments and um, order deliveries and you know managing the whole and storing inventory part so that way i don't have to worry about warehousing and none of that you know i could just get get the products shipped directly to their warehouse and then get it uh, done from there uh, um, so 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 i mean there's upfront work involved but once the product is in the warehouse of the amazon then it's pretty much uh, just sit back and watch and very passive if the formula works um you know it might be a success if it doesn't work you know it'll be a learning experience <coughs> um number 5 so i have this the lingering idea for an app that have been that have been uh, that has been in my brain and is one of the passion passionate uh, one of the things that i'm passionate about um in the food food niche food industry <coughs> is more of a restaurant business and it's a, it's basically a startup it's not a small so all the other see all the previous four options that i told you about they were all um small businesses small businesses which means that you know i have to be an active uh either i have to operate it or i have to hire a manager to operate those businesses and like i said that you know the consulting the you know providing consulting services um <coughs> i have to be able to uh hire people who are experts in that area and then and then you know send them to provide services as you know for immigration consulting services i am the one who has that expertise so i have to physically uh, trade time for money to provide the immigration uh, i983 consulting services uh, for fashion and hobby you know once <coughs> it is set up I still have to do the run the operations or if if I'm not the one who's running the operations and fulfilling orders I have to hire a manager or hire somebody take somebody's help to to uh run the run the you know run the run the show and same thing for the private label and Amazon store even though I uh, even though once the product has been shipped I mean once the product is delivered in bulk to the Amazon warehouse and they are managing the order and fulfill fulfillment but there's still a lot of upfront uh, work involved in getting the products uh, designed and made and uh, you know private labeled and branded and all of that um and which re- which needs m- either my active participation or um need to hire a manager or a person or you know a friend or or, I, or and, and in this case in all of these cases i'm going to partner with some somebody or else to uh, help with the leg work and help with the design and the artwork um but on the on but but the option number 5 that i was talking about is working on a startup um uh, the startup option is basically uh, it's a scalable business model like uber or uh <coughs> airbnb you know or or zomato or any of these apps which are you know which are at at a global level and they they um uh, you know you burn through a lot of cash up front and you 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 develop a proof of concept you run pilots and then you raise capital through venture capitalists and um and then you you know you you launch a big time so it 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 can either fail or it can succeed uh and it requires writing a business plan coming up with the idea uh, scaling the market uh, uh identifying the niche industries so you know it involves all of that research and then uh coming up with the uh with the operational model and revenue models and all of that so that is like a big business which which will end up you know uh, if it works it might end up going big or it's going to crash and burn like you know like 99% of the businesses do <coughs> so that's option number 5 option number 6 option number 6 as you might have already seen in many of my videos um uh, where we trade option spreads uh we might pursue this option 
you know the option number six is option trading and uh, in option trading it's basically income based trading uh, it's not speculating the markets it's in no way uh, trying to predict where the markets will go up or down or trying to build an investment portfolio it is basically income trading where you where where we are the option sellers and are trying to collect time premium um, and you know generate fixed income month after month by uh, selling option spreads to uh, other buyers so that is option number six and option number seven is actually uh, so is also related to uh, trading in the markets but it's but but that option is gambling which means um, it is uh, where, where we use where we leverage options and then uh, we try to prepare some mathematical models uh, some probability analysis and then um, uh, gamble in the markets <coughs> using the um, option trading techniques and uh, it's it's a hit that, that is a hit or miss that's basically you know it's an it, it, it is it is entertainment um, but uh, it could also uh, generate um, good revenue or good income um, so these are the seven things that I need to pursue and I have partners in all of them so except for the consulting actually except for providing immigration I-983 consulting services I have partners in each of the ideas each of the each of the seven uh, you know income side hustle generating income generating categories so <coughs> even though I can work on the ideas you know I have partners who can help me um, and hopefully uh, you know, if we build good partnership, uh, you know, we can scale it to g great heights. Uh, and who knows? Who knows which one's going to be a successful one? Um, either you know, we we want to generate only hundred thousand dollars, and not even like I'm not asking for millions of dollars in 2022. Only hundred thousand dollars to you know, good enough to buy a house, um, and then that's it. You know, and then who though? Who knows if we'll pursue any of these options in the future or not? Uh, I hope it goes somewhere, but yeah, that's the that's the thing. So, um, so that was it, guys. So I gave you the wishes. I have two wishes, just to summarize. You know, to lose a few pounds, and then to buy a house for hundred thousand with with hundred thousand dollar, and and with that hundred thousand dollar, the 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 first rule. Uh, I mean, I'm going to make it into a challenge. It's a hundred thousand dollar challenge, and the rule is. I cannot use my salary to contribute to that hundred thousand dollars. I have to use one of the seven options that I just spoke about, and then uh, see if we succeed or not. Yep. So that's it, guys. I'm <coughs> I'm ending the video here. It, I know it was not a long video, not much information, but uh, uh, you know, as I pursue these seven options, I'll keep making videos on these, on on what's happening and you know how where we are ending up at, and hopefully uh, by two thousand by January first. 2023 okay, I hope the I hope I'm able to look back and say well here are the numbers you know this is option number one option number two option number three and these options worked where I made so much money and these options failed where I lost so much money and then uh, we could see which options did the trick for us and and made us the hundred grand uh, that we are trying to achieve in 2022 yep. thank you guys keep watching and I have one more uh, issue with uh, all of you actually is that 99% of my viewers are not subscribed you know I, I agree it's uh, you know so please do the you know to this brother from another mother uh, some favor and subscribe uh, like share and you know, do all the needful really appreciate your support um, yep so yep Thank you so much, guys. I will uh, uh, keep in touch. Yep. Bye.